hello guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to work on a tool which is going to be a swing GUI application and we are going to make a simple application out of it and we are just going to use uh, a, a conventional converter where we are going to convert a height in centimeter to height in feet and inches so before we jump on to the project uh, if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do it's just a simple red button which will never ask you for any money and it's completely completely free so feel free to hit that button and le let's jump back to the project so uh, you can use any editor uh, any editor what, whatever you want but I prefer Eclipse so I am going to use Eclipse IDE here so it will be good if you are also working on Eclipse because it will give both of us the same scene and scenario. So this is the code that I have written and what I will do is first I will give you a demo of how this project is looking and then we are going to make it from scratch. So when we run this code you are going to see the application like this. So it always comes at the center and it, it has placeholders and if you see the UI uh, feels really good like when you click uh, you can see the highlighted portion and the uh, background and the buttons also but you will see exception because you didn't put anything here and I did not uh, make this project full proof uh, as in I did not cover all the scenarios I just wanted to sh show you guys a simple way to create a swing project and uh, gr with a great UI so if you just enter 178 which is my height so it is going to convert it to 5 feet and 10 inches so this is what it does right and we will replicate this in a way so that we can see more things so let me uh, so I think this part is clear there was nothing to understand so what I will do is I will start from scratch so if you have downloaded Eclipse if you have never created a GUI application what you need to do is First you need to go to your help right and then you need to go to Eclipse marketplace so it is going to take some time to load each uh, and everything that it requires to when it does I'll explain more so here you can see a search option so what you need to do is you need to just type window and when you hit enter you will see a lot more options but you need only window builder 1.9.5 so you can also see from the installs that it is used more often and it is by eclipse foundation just like this and you can also compare each and everything but i would ask you guys to install any because they both are going to get installed right so i would say like install this one because this is a S swt designer which specifically says that and this is the nightly build which means that you will see more options on themes right so this is what you need to install when you install it will ask you to restart and when you restart you will see each and every stuff which you need to make a GUI application right so till now what we did is just installed a plugin that's all right so that's it after that you just need to create a new project which which is going to be a maven project so you can just search maven and you do you can see maven project you can click on next and can click on create a simple project and here you need to provide the packaging so you can do com dot let's say projects which is which is what i did and then you need to provide the name and i provided a name as height conversion tool to signify what i am doing right so when you do that you will see a layout like this and in pom.xml so let's okay. do one thing so uh, to create a new maven project create this project it's from scratch, like what i said right? before you just have to click here and then create a simple project and then let's do com.projects and then do height converter and hit finish so it, it will take some time depending on your system also so I, I'll not wait for it I'll rather click on pom.xml so we need a dependency here. 
so let me explain more details on that so if you go to this uh, URL or you can directly search flat LAF right so this is a library that we are going to use so um, the front page looks like this and what we need to do is we need to download it through maven so i'll click on maven you can directly download this child uh, jar using this but i prefer maven so i will just copy this and if you don't see dependencies tag it should be inside projects if not you can create it like this and format it save it it is going to download that jar for me so in maven dependencies you can see flat laf now let me describe this so flat laf comes with few uh, uh, themes so demo some somehow looks like this so let me explain this in a way so you can see dark laf here which is this one so dark laf looks like this so if you are creating a new GUI, GUI application the background will look like this and J label will look like this and there are more components when you click it will turn red this will and this one will turn blue then there are these are the tabs that you create right and these are the scroll uh, slider so yeah you can you can um, pick one depending on your uh, your requirement so by default we get a dark LAF uh, dark cooler LAF and light LAF and then IntelliJ LAF right so these are the ones that are coming by default but you can download more so if you don't know where I downloaded this uh, you can come back to that page again and you just need to download this demo file and directly you can double double click and then run it if you have java installed which is an obvious thing so you can see a lot of dependencies here uh, themes here and they are a lot and they are all good looking so you can choose the one which suits your comfortability so so yeah there are a lot and then you can directly download this i will tell the process uh, how to download it and then import it into a project a bit later so first uh, we just need to understand that this is a, uh, a library which is going to provide us some beautiful ui interfaces right so which, which is why we downloaded this now what we need to do is we need to create a new window ap application window so I'll just go to other and you just have to type window so this is the one that we have to do and then I'll create a package I think uh, okay that's not created yet so I'll just do um, org dot converter and here I'll just say height converter so when we click on finish there will be some portion which will come by default by clips so if you try to run this there will be few things that we need to customize so first when you whenever you run frame comes here not at the center right so first we will do that so there is a simple option to do it right so how should we do it uh, before exiting i'll just do frame dot uh, set so set location relative to and I'll just do null here right when you do null you can also read uh, documentation for this they are really informative so you can see that it comes here right which is what we needed now what we need we need to design it but before we do that let's talk more about flat LAF right so before you actually create a design here you can see to enable flat laf add following code to your main method before you create any swing component so before we actually initialize i will do my flat laf thing so there are two ways to do it this one is more simpler and this one is you can see like not complex but it will require more lines so I will use this way so by default we have 
light laf you need to import this class and install is now deprecated so if you uh, see here it, it says um, install from a type flight laf is dep deprecated so if you just click on this declaration you can see that now we are using setup instead of install so I'll just replace this uh, I'm sure they will update this documentation soon right so now it looks nice right so when you run this code you will not be able to see much differences right but what I will do is I will go to this maven dependency flat laf and the first one and then there is this j uh, not this one sorry flat laf and here I will use dark laf instead of light laf so what I will do is I'll just do flat and this is the one that we want to use when I save this you can see that now background and everything looks different right now even if you create few components they will also look different so for now I am going to use IntelliJ LF and these this is the way that you use those themes which comes by default from your jar and there is another way when you download a theme and then when you import and then you want to import here then there is another way to do it right so first we will talk about this and complete the design later on we will come back to the design and we will see more themes then right so till now what we did is we made the frame at center and we applied a theme here IntelliJ LAF right that's it now what we will do is we will actually design so we will click on this design tab it will take some time to pass depending on your system okay so what we need first first we need a title so if you click on this uh, you can see a lot of options here but title is blank so I'll just do height converter right so now it's there you can see it here um, if you see this something like this that doesn't matter because if you run this code you will see each and everything right so that doesn't matter now the font and everything is customizable so if you see here font you can customize this by clicking on this you can increase the font you can make it bold and you can choose the family depending on your uh, comfort zone so if you change it is all, all obviously going to reflect right so you can expand this and yeah it is going to work fine now what we are going to do is after getting the title what we need is we need a title here which will say like okay it is going to convert inches to feet and inches so what I will do is I will just choose a J label and I will place it here okay before we do this I think this is going to be problematic so first I will choose a layout right so right click okay so right click and it's not working okay so right click set layout and I will do absolute layout right now what I will do is I will use J level and place it at the center and let me increase the size a bit okay so I'll increase the font for obvious reasons and choose bold here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change here the label and I'll just do uh, convert centimeters to feet and inches 
hit enter and that's how you will see let me expand this also right and this looks like it is at the center now uh, what we need to do is we need to create a input box where the user can input the centimeters and then we will need a convert button and then there will be a result where it will get the display uh, the output in feet and inches so I'll just do J text box uh, text field I'll create it somewhere here and I'll expand this okay and then I need the same uh, for output also so first I will increase the font to 20 okay and then I'm going to copy this and paste it somewhere here right and in between I will create a button okay I'm going to place it at the center and I'll say uh, I'll change the name and say convert again I'm going to change the font to 20 because 10 is a lot smaller and I'll increase the size right so let's test it out so save it run it so you can see um, it's okay but it's not that okay because you can see everything is crammed up so I'm going to increase the size of the text box right this is a bit much so it is going to get increased also right so now what we will do is we will create a label again and place it here okay and then we will increase the size so looks good I'll again change the font to 20 right and then I'll change the text to centimeters right and here I will not do feet and inches because in the output itself I'm going to display feet and inches right and I'll make this um, not editable so I'll just uncheck this and that's it so this is um, at the edge so I'm going to align it to center this looks fine same I'm going to do for this one center and uh, where is the okay for this one we have to again do center so now let's try this okay so this looks good and when you type it types at the center but again it is not going to do much but I'm happy um, it looks fine right now what we need to do is we need a placeholder right so what I will do is I will go back to my source and here if you see uh, I need the placeholder in my text fields right so what I will do is when I'm creating this I'm just going to do so again let me come back to flat LAF here there are some customization that we can do so if you go to customizing and if you click on client properties here so here if you scroll down a bit you will see one property J text field and here you can see placeholder text so th through this you can uh, create a uh, placeholder text which will look good so to do that what you need to do is you need to use flat client properties property and 
inside you will find a pla uh, placeholder text property which is what we are going to use so here text field dot so there is one method put client pro property so here we just have to provide the property and it's in flat, uh, flat client properties right so we are going to use that dot placeholder and here you can provide the value so I'm just going to do input height in centimeters right and I can directly copy this also and place it here and here I will just do one and here I will do output will be displayed here save it and if you run it now you can see like it's it sounds it looks good right but this uh, looks bit cramped up so I will use the same uh, size as the previous one so I'll just go back delete this one copy this one and paste it here right and save it and let's rerun this okay uh, we need to do the placeholder thing again I'll just remove the editable mode go back to source and copy this and text field is here I'll just do one here and move this output will be displayed here right now let's run this okay so this looks good right now what we need to do is we need to do the actual conversion so I'll just come back to design and I'll double click on this convert when I do that so when I do that it is going to create an action listener for me right if not you can right click and then go to action add action event then action and action perform right there are a lot of things that you can do by just right clicking so action performed when you go inside what we need to do is we need to fetch the value uh, from this text field and then do the conversion and then output should be displayed here that's it that's all what, what we need to do so I'll come back to source and what I will do is first I fetch the value from the text field this one so if you click on this you can see the variable name as text field and you can even uh, change the name right so I'm going to leave it like this because I know uh, by default what Eclipse is going to create for me so I'll just do int height in centimeters equals to text field dot get text right now I have received the test uh, text but in string format so I need to convert it so I'll just do integer dot percent integer dot percent right now what we need to do is So now what we need to do is we need to do the actual conversion so actual conversion is like 1 inch is equals to 2.54 centimeters and 1 feet is equals to 12 inches right so we will first convert it to inches and then we will convert it to feet right and inches are going to be in decimal so we will convert it back to what we need to display like 178 centimeters is equals to five 
feet and 10 inches so it doesn't um, we we don't want it to display like 10.034 right this doesn't look good so we will do this so what I'm going to do is first I will convert it to inches so I'll just do double rough inches because we are going to get those values in decimal so I'll just divide it by 2.54 right so when I do the conversion now I just need feet so feet will be simple enough we just have to do rough inches divided by 12 now uh, this is going to be in decimal and we need it to be in int because you never see uh, a person's height in 5.2 feet we see 5 feet because that's that's what we can read or say out loud right so you can do one thing you can cast it out using this and there are a lot of ways to cast from double to integer you can use any now you need actual inches right so what we need to do is we will subtract so I'll just rough inches minus the ones which we are getting multiplying feet into 12 so when I do the feet into 12 it is going to give me the non decimal numbers and I'm going to subtract it from here from the from the ones left and then I'm going to again convert it back to int right so this is the inches now I got everything I got feet I got inches now I just need to display it to the other text field which is text field 1 so I'll just do dot set text and here we need to provide a string value so what I will do is I will display like uh, first I will display feet plus I will do space feet and space then I'll do inches and I'll do space inches and you save this you just have to run this so when I click on run and I type 178 and when I click on convert you can see 5 feet and 10 inches so this is what we needed and th that's what you can do you can also create a button clear to clear each and everything but I don't think that's relevant you can change it out and do conversion right and then you can close it like this so this is what we needed to do now let's do few customization so when you come back to um, this page of flat LAF you can see a customization page so you can click on the home page you can see few properties here like we can um, like we see square square components by default so let me show you what I mean by square so you can see these are squares but this this doesn't look good so I need um, arc so to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use UI manager dot put and then I'm going to use property a arc right so I'll just copy this line and they have also specified like default is 6 and um, used for other components like default is 5 right and for this 4 and to make it round you can do 999 and this is what it will look like right so let's do that so I'll just do after setup I'll copy it for to button and text so you can see like here we have text component so you can use the same so I'll just do text component dot arc and here I'll do 999 and here I'll do 999 and you just need to import this save it and this is uh, how um, it is looking like now and this is what it will look like now right so it's, it looks more better now it, it's also comes down to the preference it depends on you so this is what it is looking like now so this is one of the customization that you can do and there are a lot of things that you can do 
you can do focus outer and inner border focus you can show mnemonics and you can do scroll bar with style a lot of things a lot right now let's come down to the themes so now you can see that these are the core themes that comes by default and when we download any themes it should be in this format because flat laf supports only this format and to import this we need to do like this right so what we need to do is uh, first you need to import that to a folder which could be like resources so uh, what i will do is first i'll just download one to showcase so i'll use um uh, i'll use github right so click on this one and you need to provide the location so i'll just do uh, i'll just say desktop and then i click on save okay now it should have saved let's go to desktop so here you can see license txt file and this is the json one so i'm just going to drag it down to my resources folder put it here and click on copy file so you will see this json file here now we are going to do the thing that we saw here so there is one class so i'll just comment this one down and i'll come down and i'll do intellij theme dot now again install is deprecated so i'm going to use setup now we need to provide our class name which is height converter dot class dot get resource as stream and here we need to provide the name so if you are providing it in resource folder you don't need to provide the entire path you just have to do slash github dot theme dot json right now if you save this and run this you will see changes like it is now in green color right so it is again going to work fine and this is all uh, for this project little one so this is all what we did and you can make many more changes you can expand it like you can create multiple tabs and in those multiple tabs you you can convert centimeters to feet and inches and feet and inches to centimeters and then like multiple conversions that you want to do so it will be much more bigger project but the ui part which i wanted to show you guys like this is really good and you can use it because i i liked it uh, like more than what we get by default from swing so yeah this is all for this video i hope you like the content if you did then don't forget to subscribe like and share and stay tuned for more i will see you in the next one have a good day stay safe and bye bye